On the agenda tonight, we're going to be taking a look at Home Free with their version of Colder Weather. Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So, this is another one of those analysis videos on a vocal group. And this particular request came through with the statement, please don't tell me that home free are pitch corrected. And not that I want to give anything away, but it's going to be a very difficult video to make if I'm not allowed to say that. But anyway, uh, we will get the song up on screen that was sent with the request and we'll have a listen to it to see what's going on. Obviously, I've isolated the vocals, run through the pitch monitoring software, and it's a very similar case to pentatonics because anything that's plotted on this pitch graph we know is a voice because there's no instrumentation here. It's purely the guys singing. So we will jump into this and see what's going on. She trade Colorado. So yes, it's pitch corrected <laughs> straight away. By the way, there's a link in the description below if you want to listen to this song or the live version that we'll look at in a second. Uh, yeah, without me interrupting it, but yeah. There we go. So straight away we are stuck on the A sharp three and then the B three. So heavily pitch corrected, and we're only what three or four notes in. With the taker with him, closes the door before the winner lets the cold in, and wonders if her. Yeah. Uh, okay. The thing is about this, it's so pitch corrected that the voices in, try and listen to the voices in the background. So when there are more, or there, there are a lot of voices, more than one voice, it does have a bit of trouble just trying to plot anything, but anything it does plot, we know is a voice. Love, it's strong enough to make him stay. I mean, look at this kind of thing, but listen to these backing vocals, try and take them in. She's answered by the taillights Shining through the window pane He said I won't Now, I mean this is so close to like a synth pad or something being played on a keyboard and just to prove my point try and listen to these voices Through the window pane Said I wanna see you again. Try and log that sound, and I'm now going to sing something and see if this sounds anywhere similar. <laughs> okay, right, so that was just uh, uh, an instrument in uh, Logic Pro 10 that's just voices. And if you want the exact voices, it's African Skies Voices 2, zero 02. So it's just a sound that you can now play your keyboard with. And if you press a key, you'll get the sound of a voice. This is what this sounds like. It sounds so similar. But this is supposed to be their voices, them singing. But if it is really their voices, they have been so pitch corrected, you might as well play a keyboard. That's the, the level that we've got to. I think I did mention this in the pentatonics video that we're getting so close to just playing a keyboard that there's going to be no point in having vocalists anymore because just, I mean, nowadays you could probably program AI with the lyrics of the song so that every time you play the chord it says the word because then we don't need singers but anyway let's listen on but listen to th this backing vocal sound it just sounds like a an instrument plug-in but i'm stuck in colder weather maybe tomorrow will be better can i call you then can i call you said you're a rambling man 
And you ain't ever gonna change You got a gypsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving At a truck stop diner just outside of Lincoln Actually, that do, 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 that sounded like the keyboard. It's just that they're saying do's instead of um, whatever we said before. Hems. <laughs> instead of these hems, we're having do's. So anyway, yeah, it sounds really similar. And by the way, that, was, that wasn't the song. <laughs> Night is black, the coffee was drinking. And in the waitress eyes, he sees same old light is shining He thinks of Colorado And the girl he left behind So no, yeah, apologies to the person that requested this saying please don't say home free or pitch corrected I mean, not only are they pitch corrected, they're so heavily pitch corrected, you could probably, in the background, get away with playing a keyboard and people might not notice uh, even with this official release. Now, Having said all of that, it's not that these guys can't sing and that they're fakes or, yeah, pretending to be something they're not. They can sing, and I do have a live version of this song, or of them performing this song, so we can have a direct comparison to the real voice, what it sounds like, and uh, that pitch-corrected uh, I was going to say monstrosity, but the pitch corrected version of it. But anyway, yeah, I don't want to kind of get ranting uh, too much. But the, the other thing that pitch correction takes out is the individual personality of each singer. So um, you could hear that in, in that first uh, playthrough that everyone's voice just sounds the same uh, because it is just going through that same plugin. Anyway, uh, let's listen to this she live. Trade Colorado if he take and... <laughs> Let's look at, let me move this over to the actual vocal and you'll now see, I tell you what, I'm going to quickly organize this so that we can have both on screen. And I think <laughs> the great thing about looking at it in this kind of detail, if you heard that vocal start, you'd say, oh, well, that looks like it's pitch corrected because we are, or we were looking at the pitch corrected version. When we then allow this to go through, this is the real voice with all of these wobbles going on, uh, as you would expect. But anyway, let's take it back. We're now listening to, on the right-hand side, you want to look at, because this is the unedited live performance, no pitch correction here. she trade Colorado if he take her with him. And listen to the difference in tone that we get. And this is the same guy. This is the same guy singing. She trade Colorado if he take her with him. I mean, that sounds almost like a Justin Bieber version of the guy's voice. Na 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 na. All of the body, all of the tones, been taken out with the pitch correction. Let's listen to his live vocal. She trade Colorado. He's got so much Colorado, that's where his voice sits, not Colorado, it's not in that place. So yeah, he, this guy's natural voice is so much better than it sounds with the pitch correction. Oh, if he take her with him. And again, we're looking at the right hand side, as you can probably tell, look at the way that we descend here and here it's just you you'll just see straight lines on the left here. Close is the door before the winter. And listen to that door door. He's got that vibrato in there. I don't want to go through this phrase by phrase, but let's listen to that door with the pitch corrected vocal. Close is the door before the... Close is the door. And it's all just kind of one straight line now. Winter lets the cold in. Yeah, <laughs> and look what we've got kicking off over here. So let's uh, go back and now listen to the natural voice. Or before the winter lets the cold in. Yeah, cold in. He's actually got quite a dramatic vibrato that obviously you can see because it's pitch corrected, we're now stuck over the line for this whole phrase. But 
the dramatic nature of the vibrato has been reduced so that it's kind of closer to this line and it doesn't go as far away from this line so it is yeah a lot tighter here than when his natural voice would have the freedom uh, to go where it does and what is it for love is strong enough to make him stay i mean what is going on here look at this line and we just listen to that live version is strong enough to make him strong enough and he has a little bit of vibrato in there uh, I think we already know what this is going to sound like but let's have a listen to the pitch corrector version Love is strong enough to make him stay strong enough to make him stay <laughs> even that stay because I'm not pitch correcting myself you know, I won't be able to hit these lines. This is the great thing uh, that, that we can see between the two versions. When they're singing live, I think they would have started with a reference to pitch, but they're just singing with each other. That's how they're judging where they are. But when you now apply something that's usually judged by ear to 440 hertz, standard tuning, this now doesn't make it relevant to the singers reacting to each other. They could all sing their parts individually. So they get pitch corrected so they'll all be perfect independently without sounding like a vocal group sounds due to them reacting to each other and harmonizing with each other. So that's the major thing about if you got these guys in the studio and said, right, sing your part. They said, well, Where's my reference point? Where are the other guys? They say, oh, don't worry, we'll pitch correct it afterwards so that you're all perfect. They'll say, well, that's not how we do it. But, you know, the studio will say, well, that's how we do it. So, yeah, everyone come in on a different day because now the relevance to each other is irrelevant because you're all going to be stuck on these lines. So we'll just listen on to the live performance and we'll bring in the other guys' voices a little bit more prominently because I think it was just focusing on the lead vocal. Uh, here, another good example of being squashed to a line, but then quite a dramatic ascension here in pitch, almost a semitone, but let's jump into it again. The window pane. He said, I want to see you again, but I'm stuck in colder weather. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Can I and just to point out that on the right hand side, this is the live version. And you'll see these dots kind of being picked up now and again, very rarely ever on the lines, apart from just a tiny touch here. But uh, with the pitch corrected version, voices are hitting these lines all the time. There's something that you'll notice. I call you then, can I call said you? you're a man, and you ain't ever gonna change. You got a gypsy soul to blame and you were born for leaving Oh, well it's a winding road When you're in the lost and found You're a lover of a runner And we go round and round And I love you but I leave ya I don't want you but I need ya You know I can smell your perfume through these whispering pines. Oh, I'm with your ghost again. It's a shame about the weather, but I know soon we'll be together. And I can't wait till then. I can't wait till then. And there we have it. So, I mean, these guys have got great voices. And this is the shame of it, really. The same case, really, with pentatonics, that listening to the pitch corrected voices, I think, well, I can just play that on a keyboard. So it doesn't really do anything for me hearing their voices pitch corrected. But hearing a live performance of, you know, five guys that are great singers, and they're harmonizing with each other, and then one of them's doing the, the percussion as well. 
I mean, it sounds great when it's unedited, but yeah, sadly, anything that's kind of released officially or on YouTube, and especially this particular song, is so heavily pitch corrected. For me, it's just something that I'm not, I'm not into that sound. I'd much rather hear the individual voices. When somebody goes off to have their lead vocal, you can instantly tell it's a different person and their voice will have a natural tendency to do things differently than, than the singer that you were just listening to. So you get this variation, this chop and change all the time. Whereas when you're listening to five guys' voices who have all then gone through the same pitch correction, you get the same result because they've all gone through this process. And yeah, it's not the same as reverb and delay and compression because even with all of those effects, you still still start with the individual's voice and then that effect gets added to it. It doesn't change their voice now into all of the voices now having the same personality. But anyway, yes, thank you guys for suggesting, requesting this particular video and performance for me to take a look at. As always, keep those coming in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!